Well, ENC's Samkele Maseko has been following this story. He joins us now live from Mahiking. Good evening, Samkele. Well, is this the Provincial Executive Committee of uh, the ANC in the Northwest saying to the national leadership, we dare you? Well, Fuyo, they are basically mandashing from the statement that they issued last night when they welcomed the voluntary resignation of the Premier of the Northwest, Premier Supra Mahuma Pilo. So they're basically saying that they retract that statement that they issued out. They have decided as a structure uh, to not accept the resignation of the Premier, but uh, instead they will accept that the Premier takes leave of absence in order for the interministerial committee uh, of ministers led by Tuxakosas and Adamini Zuma to be able able to do their work without any hindrance that may have been alleged from the Premier of the province, Supra Muhammad Pilo, and that they will be going around the province, uh, interacting with various branches of the ANC and sub-regions to find out and consult with them along with the National Executive Committee of the ANC. They will also engage with the top brass leadership of the ANC as the PWC on this uh, resignation of Premier Supra Muhammad Pilo. Whilst he's on leave of absence, th those in engagements will be ongoing. And then finally, at a later stage, a decision will be made whether the Premier should come back to work or he should resign. Do we know what actually triggered the about 10 or the mantashing as you call it? Well, what we have come to understand is that uh, this is uh, uh, the ANC PEC got together and decided to call an emergency PEC to get answers from the Premier on why he uh, decided to, to resign. They were even asking him if he was pressured by anybody in a higher position within the African National Congress. And they said simply, no, he was not pressured. It came out of his own accord uh, to resign. But obviously, you'd remember, Vuyo, that last week there were reports, uh, particularly in newspapers and and uh, the Mail and Guardian specifically, that uh, Premier Supra Muhammad Pilo had been asked to step down uh, by the ANC's National Working Committee through its president after that long meeting that took place in Cape Town of the National Working Committee. So uh, it's allegations upon allegations, one faction saying this and another fa faction saying that. But uh, just to put it on record, the ANC, NWC, NEC or ANC comms or SGO office has never released a statement saying that the NWC recommended for the Premier of the Northwest to step down. It's just sources within the ANC itself who've been uh, telling us this information. But the ANC, interestingly itself, has never come out and said this information is false. Now, not only um, is Supra Mahumapilo going to be the one appointing an acting Premier, but uh, he can do so only when he's ready. So no hurry, really. Well, they are saying that uh, uh, through his executive powers as the, as the Premier of the province, he's, it's within his jurisdiction and powers to appoint the acting Premier, and he will be appointing the acting Premier. But that remains to be seen of further in, uh, uh, negotiations that may be taking place behind closed doors with the ANC's top brass leadership in order to appease both factions that may be uh, seemingly warring with one another in the province. That, uh, you'd remember, Supra Muhammad Pillow spoke and said that it's some members of the ANC who are working with the opposition in order to oust him and it's the tripartite alliance partners such as Sanko and the South African Communist Party who say they do not want the incumbent ANC leadership led by Premier Supra Muhammad Pilo. So all sorts of allegations are being made back and forth but we do know that Matota Sambata, the current provincial secretary of the SACP is not mincing his words when he says that they as the SACP want the Premier of the Northwest gone as in yesterday. Well, in the meantime, Supra Mahumapilo will be pursuing, um, in his words, aggressive legal action. Yes, he says he'll be uh, pursuing aggressive legal action against the Revolutionary War Council, which is uh, a group that's within the, the province and particularly in Mah Mahikeng, who were behind the protest of uh, uh, the calls uh, for uh, Supra Muhammad Pilo to go. He, the Premier goes on to allege that uh, they need to investigate on who sponsored uh, these protests and who sponsored the various lootings and the transportation of the, of the, of, of, of the protesters across the province. So he's basically on going on a legal warfare with uh, this revolution. 
Revolutionary Council that's uh, been calling for his resignation along with any other structures of the ANC. For instance, he did not mince his words when he uh, showed his dislike for the current leadership of the Veterans League in the province where he went out and on a full-out attack on one of their members who said he's a former HOD in uh, one of the government departments and has been living in a, a, state, a, a state house for the past 12 years. So he's got no love loss uh, between himself and the Veterans League uh, there. Samkele Maseko, that's where we're going to leave it uh, for now. Samkele Maseko in Mahikeng following the developments there. The premier of uh, the Northwest, Supra Mahumapilo, making an about 10. And of course, uh, the PEC, they're saying, and I quote, they forced uh, the premier to stay on.